Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and uh, today is a really special day because Adobe XD19 is finally here. Woohoo! And um, I was super excited for this update and it's finally here. So let's get started with all the new things that are there in Adobe XD. Uh, so the first feature as you can see is linked assets. Now, linked assets means you can bring in colors and all the other components from an existing project, uh, which of course has to be a cloud document. So if I say linked asset, it will show me all the cloud documents and even the ones which have been shared with me. So if somebody shares a document with you, um, it'll be here as well. So let me go to a project where I might have some assets. So this is a project I've been working on if I click on this as you can see all the colors and uh, the components have been uh, brought in these are basically symbols and also if there are any character styles they'll be brought in and you can start a new project without you know having to copy the colors over so that's pretty awesome okay let's get started with the next feature um, if I start a new artboard I should be able to test this feature out. This is the polygon tool. It looks like a triangle, but uh, you can either make a basic triangle right here. Finally, Adobe XD has a triangle. And you can also increase the number of sides. So for example, I want a five, five sides like this. You can have anything, octagon, polygon, um, I don't know, all the other guns, and uh, I don't know, do your trigonometry, I don't know. Uh, so uh, you can have as many sides 12 I don't know 50 but this will now become a circle because they're like 50 sides if I zoom in you can see there are these little crooked sides like this so there it's limitless and you can also change the border radius of each of these so if I do if I do uh, six sides and I want a border radius of 50 see how it now has curved edges that's pretty awesome so this is like a full feature, it's not half baked or anything. Let's move on to the next uh, cool feature which is components and uh, individual component uh, changing. So basically, uh, symbols are now components. They've been renamed, don't get confused. Um, but this will differentiate Adobe XD from Sketch even more. And um, what happens is if I right click, I can go ahead and say make component. Um, and here's the component. Now, as you can see, there is this uh, diamond shape on the top left. This is basically the parent component. So if I copy this component, uh, AKA symbol, uh, if I change, make any changes in the parent, obviously there will be changes in the child component as well. Uh, if I increase the size or whatever, and as you can see it is changing uh, but uh, there is a cool new feature where you can individually edit these symbols without ungrouping them so if i uh, say if i click on this child component and if i edit this like this as you can see the parent isn't being affected so whatever symbols are parents they will not be affected only the, if the parent is edited all the other children will be edited, edited as well. So that's a mouthful, but that is how it works. And it's pretty easy. It'll become more common with uh, more usage. Uh, the next cool feature, this is again very cool. Uh, and it's a pretty huge update is text editing support. And if I say, if I just uh, place in some text here and I say edit, I can change so many things now. Now this is, uh, let me just make this lowercase. I can change the case of these. So if I want uppercase, I can click here, changes it to uppercase. Lowercase, uh, first case is capital and all the other cases are small. Now this is one feature that even Sketch doesn't have, or does it? No, it, uh, even Sketch, Sketch doesn't have the first letter being capitalized. <laughs> That's pretty awesome that Adobe XD is ahead. Now you can also go for a strike through. We had underline earlier, but now there is a strike through feature as well. So there's a like little line which comes up. Obviously the underline is there. So you can have both underline as well as strike through. I don't know if it's a bug, but you know, it works pretty well for me. Yeah, so that is more advanced. 
text support uh, text support right there okay the next cool feature is uh, with auto animate and uh, next cool feature is with animation triggers so if I have two artboards and if I want to rotate this triangle uh, like this something like that you know just want to rotate it like this a little more maybe and uh, I want to rotate it on my space bar so if I click on my space bar it should do it so now there is keyboard and gamepad support so if I go to prototype and I click on this triangle and I take this arrow to the second artboard and uh, if I go to trigger as you can see the keys and gamepad now a gamepad uh, could be gamepad keys as well so it could be um, I don't I'm not sure if it supports Xbox and all those controllers to go with but if, if it if it's true that'll be awesome I don't have a gamepad right now so I can't really show it to you but press a key to assign if I press the space bar okay there this is a huge error there is no space bar support I don't know if that that's a bug with this current version or, or if it's not intended but for example I click on the right arrow as you can see it fills in the right arrow here and I want to say auto animate and all the features I'll just keep the same so if I go to prototype and if I click on the right arrow it'll just switch to this other artboard and it'll animate seamlessly so I can have so many options I can I can have the up arrow, down arrow, left arrow. I can have um, K, L, O, P, any keys. This will work really well with keyboard. If you want to have like a keyboard support, like a fake keyboard, this will work really well. Other things like shift, space bar aren't working. Special characters work, but all these shift and enter works as well. But shift doesn't work for some reason. Um, command doesn't work or control doesn't work option doesn't work alt doesn't work uh, function key doesn't work shift again doesn't work tab works so tab is working and all the numbers work as well but for some reason and escape works as well so some reason spacebar and enter and all these don't really work really well here now so that was the animation support that was pretty pretty damn cool now another cool feature uh, that they've introduced with Adobe XD uh, and as it stated in the website is artboard guides. Now this was something which was tricky for me to understand at first but if you get used to it uh, as you can see on the edges there there's this uh, different kind of cursor which comes up and if you drag from the edge you as you can see you can set uh, these guides right here and from the top um, as well as uh, just from the top and the left hand side this doesn't work with the right hand side and the bottom so you'll have to kind of take everything from the top to the bottom slightly inconvenient but you know I gotta give kudos for uh, to the Adobe XD team for actually bringing this feature in another feature which was missing in Adobe XD which uh, some other uh, tools had one thing I would really appreciate for Adobe XD to do is actually have like a ruler uh, on these guides so you know where the guide is lying on that would be really helpful but as you can see there's a floating ruler there I can see uh, the dimensions and everything so this is pretty cool uh, another alternative for a layout yeah that's pretty cool now there are some features I won't be demonstrating as such because they're not as big uh, but let's start from uh, the last feature this is uh, request access to private prototypes and design specs so uh, if you have shared a private pro prototype with somebody that person can actually uh, uh, ask the other person for approval that okay and you can decide whether to approve that person or to deny that person and that's a pretty good feature uh, voice prototype notification again um, if your voice pro uh, if in a voice command something isn't really working um, or there's there's something that it can't understand uh, it'll show a quick notification that this voice isn't being heard or it's not being understood uh, again with a visual preview of what Adobe XD is hearing okay so responsive resize for components now components will uh, also be 
Uh, also change based on the size of the artboard. If you've tried responsive resize, it's awesome. Uh, it allows you to create responsive designs uh, for web and apps uh, the same way. And responsive resize didn't work for um, so-called uh, components before, but now they do, so that's pretty cool. Um, especially doing if doing it for multiple artboards, it changes uh, dramatically. So you don't have to, un uh, all the components in different artboards will stay different. So if one artboard, ch you change the size on one artboard, it won't change the size of those symbols on or components on another artboard. That's pretty cool. That's helpful. Uh, components with overrides we've done, create and maintain a design system. We uh, This is basically, since now there's support for linked assets, now you can actually, uh, and components, you can actually, you know, um, you can have a design system which works on all systems, on all platforms because it's cloud-based, so it'll update um, everywhere. And if there's an update, people will get a notification that components have been updated. That's awesome for teams like mine who are working on designs every day. That's pretty awesome. And there are, you know, little nitty gritties, bug fixes, obviously, and stuff like that. Um, there's an article here. I'll link everything down in the description so you can check the details out and how they work. And you can check this article out as well on the Adobe XD blog. Um, so that was all for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and also click that bell icon because that really helps my channel grow as well as hit that like button for this video. Share it with people so that they know Adobe XD's update is out and I'll see you every Monday and Thursday. Um, same time. Wish you best of luck. God bless.